Hi folks, hope you're doing good today. Now there's not gonna be any bands as such today. What I thought I'd do today is check out three super nice guitarists, three of my favorite guitarists. Uh, they're not necessarily the three best guitarists in the world, but they're certainly three of my favorites and I consider them well up there. Um, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to check these three guys out because these three guys are responsible for me getting back into guitar, um, getting into a band again, making music and pretty much getting back to where I am today which is just all about music all about metal all about playing guitar and all about composing and making my own music uh, and these three guys pretty much inspired me to do that again uh, now I first started playing guitar when I was about 11 years old uh, and I played it all the way through till I was about 22 23 something like that um, and then I just kind of stopped listening to any new bands didn't get into any new bands and just listened to all the bands that I already knew from the kind of late 90s mid 2000s um, and then about four years ago for some unknown reason I thought right I want to get back into metal I want to see what metal's like um, at this kind of time because it was about 10 years since I'd really listened to any um, so I started to listen to some more metal, checking it out on YouTube, this and that. Came across these three bands um, and the guitar in was so good and so different. I hadn't heard anything like it before. It was so high level. It just inspired me so bad that I thought, man, I've got to get my guitar back out. So I dug my guitar out, realized that it had a totally bent neck, uh, which meant I had to then get a new guitar. Um, but since then, I haven't looked back. That was about nearly four years ago now. And since then, I've released three albums. I've joined a band. I've just released three EPs as a one-man band. I'm into music. I'm making these videos. I check out new bands every single day. And these guys pretty much were the catalyst to kickstart that off. So we'll get into them. I'll stop waffling on. The first guy I'm going to mention is a guy called Justin McKinney. Uh, now, this guy is in a band called The Zenith Passage, uh, but he's also done other work as well with The Faceless and some other bands. Um, and this is this is a playthrough of a Faceless track. Um, I personally found out about him through The Zenith Passage. Um, their, their albums that they've got out are just so sick, tech death, um, but it's not just relentless tech death. There's, there's a lot of breakdowns that's kind of ambient. Uh, Justin on the solos is very, what I would call sexy. Um, he's got the really nice bends and it just feels nice and sexy. It's kind of love making music almost. Um, but the rest of the tracks are super hard tech death. Um, not really love making music unless you're a real slammer. But anyway, um, yeah, I love this guy. His, his guitar in just hit home with me. I thought this guy is amazing. Uh, I learned to play a couple of their tracks on guitar, which kept me going because it's high level guitar in. Uh, and for me, it was a goal to try and uh, be able to play some of these tracks. I managed to get round to it eventually. It took me about a year of learning the one track to actually be able to play it up to speed. Um, but yeah, love this guy, love his band, love his guitar in. He's got some super nice guitars. Two of these guys are the Kiesel, uh, like sponsored by Kiesel, and Kiesel make very, very nice guitars. So we'll get this guy up on the screen. It's only short vids today, just a bit of kind of a solo or a short playthrough, guitar playthrough. So let's listen to Justin and check him out and thank him for inspiring me to make some music. Yeah, look at that guitar. Super tight tone. It's got to be tight to be able to get all these notes out. Dope. Chugs in this band just rule. All the gallops and stuff like that that they do. This is where we get that, what I call sexiness. Got fast tech death, but with some nice bendy solos over the top. Yeah. Great drumming in these bands as well. Got to be great drumming. Yeah. Dope. 
I was used to chords and then also chugging about and doing riffage. It's a real nice balance. Yeah. Chugging on the strings. It's just got the right tone for that chug. Nice and tight, you hear every single bit. And a nice silent pause in between. There's no string sound or anything like that. Yeah. That's what high level guitaring sounds like to me. And as I say, it's not just high level, super fast, super technical, it's also really nice. Wow, wow doing a bit of bending on the strings and stuff like that. So there you go, that's Justin. Justin inspired me, but he wasn't the only guy. It was three bands that inspired me all at once. Uh, got into all these three bands at the same kind of time. Uh, they're all kind of tech death and that kind of genre. And it was this stuff that just made me go, whoa, this is super fresh. This is new. I haven't heard this back in the mid 2000s. Um, so yeah, this is what really inspired me. Now the next guy I'm going to show you is Lucas Mann and this guy's from Rings of Saturn and this guy is crazy good on guitar. He plays stuff that really no one else is playing and the other people that are playing it now are only doing it because he did it uh, and he's inspired them as well. But it's kind of what they call alien core, uh, death core. Um, and what that really is, is just kind of really high pitched, weird, alien kind of noises, space noises that he makes on his guitar. Some of the sounds that he gets out of his guitar, you won't even believe, can come out of a guitar. So this is Lucas Mann doing us a bit of a solo. I'll get him up on the screen and let's hear what he sounds like. Plays an eight string. I think this is a nine string actually. Yeah, nine string he's playing now. This is what we mean by alien sounds. Just crazy tapping taps with his pick. He's also got those sexy ribs. That's what I love about these guys is they've got the fast and the technical but they also know how to break it down into some beautiful melodies. Yeah. He's tapping with his pick, which you don't see too often. And that's what I'm talking about. You don't hear those noises out of a guitar very often. Yeah. No. Crazy sounds. There you go. Now I don't know much how how much of that crazy alien sound comes from the t uh, pick tapping. Uh, because I have tried it, it does change the sound. Obviously it's his tone and stuff as well, uh, but there's a definite different tone to the tap using your pick or using your finger. Um, and you can kind of get a bit more oomph behind it with the with the pick as well so yeah super nice guitar and when i heard this stuff uh the album particularly lugal kien i consider a perfect album uh bar i think about one track on there which isn't quite as good as the rest that album for me is an absolute classic some of the best guitar and drumming that you'll ever, ever hear is on Lugal Kien. So if you don't know this band, definitely go and check that one out. But yeah, that's Lucas Mann. This guy inspired me with his riffs. Uh, that album, Lugal Kien, the drumming on it as well is just out of this world. Um, yeah, I heard that stuff. I was just blown away. Now, the last guy I'm going to mention is a guy. Uh, he's one of the guitarists, and I like both the guitarists out of this band, um, but... I only found the one video kind of that was short enough to show in this way for this for this one guy but both the guitarists in this band are sick and the way that they work together is is kind of how the band comes together uh, but particularly this guy Scott um, from uh, Fallujah his style he's got a kind of a very unique original style particularly for technical death metal uh, where he's his guitar work is pure sex um, and I keep saying that but that's the only word I can really keep describe these kind of guitars uh, this way of playing guitar at least wow 
wah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Sexy guitar, long drawn out bends and things like that. Um, but over technical, tappy, tech death music with the most ridiculous drumming. We've had Andrew on the channel, one of my favorite drummers as well. The drumming in, in Fallujah is just off the chain but so is the guitar in and it's that reason that got me back into guitar in um, so we're going to check out scott from fallujah again he's a kiesel uh, sponsored guitarist so they got their hands on all the good guys over at kiesel oh, look at this guitar There's some woods on there i tell you I'm not so sure I'm totally down with the shape of that guitar, but the woods are just out of this world. Well, as you can hear, this guy's a bit different again. Still technical. But he loves his whammy bar, this guy, and he loves to dip the whammy bar at the start of the note. Wah, wah. Just sounds great, goes great with the music. The other guitarist in this band is generally doing more technical work, keeping the riffs and the choppiness going, and then this guy just kind of solos and does his thing over the top. Just sounds beautiful, but harsh at the same time. This guy's got, he's got uh, the Fallujah band have got a real dynamic where half the music's absolutely beautiful and ethereal, and at the same time, it's pumping tech death technical me metal. They managed to just blend it perfectly. And this guy's guitar is a big reason as to why that works. There you go. Talked all over it. Uh, <laughs> but there you go. That was Scott from Fallujah. Now, I wanted to just talk. I didn't really want to kind of show too much of them playing guitar because, you know, everyone likes a guitar vid to a point, but no one really likes a six minute guitar vid and then three of them in the one vid so I thought we'll look for some shorter solo type vids about one minute and a half long which worked out uh, all three all three guys had vids like that um, so I could show off these three guys not only because they're super nice guitarists and in super nice bands all three bands very 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 nice um, but basically I just wanted to give them a thanks if they ever get a chance to see this video to say thanks for inspiring me to get back into guitar um, because it was these three guys and their guitar in that just made me go wow guitar is amazing again uh, gave me that kind of buzz gave me that inspiration uh, and I haven't looked back since then I've played my guitar every single day for four years um, since I got back into, into into it I've made it kind of a point to do that uh, make sure you pick it up every single day and these guys were the guys that inspired me to do that so thanks if you happen to watch the video and if not just sending it through the airwaves all right that's going to be the vid for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. See you. Bye.